10, 9, 8, 7. Hello, ho, ho. My name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a Santa hat, among other things. Merry Christmas. I can't say Christmas in July because I missed that deadline. It's now August, but that means it is still plenty hot, and this was probably the worst costume choice I could have chosen. We're talking about the Gecko today. Not a new blaster, but I did recently acquire one. The Gecko is designed by Edrian, and this one in particular was printed and assembled by Silver Fox Industries. I purchased the blaster myself, along with a matching magazine, but they did throw in one for a second option that both match the blaster in different ways. And before I go any further, I'm gonna take some of this off because I'm dying. This is the worst beard I've ever tried on in my life, and it doesn't even make me look like a pirate. Ow. Edrian designed this blaster to resemble the in-game model from Cyberpunk, that is the Lizzie. Obviously a very different color scheme than this, but that is the beauty of blasters. And I think he did an excellent job making this blaster come to life. Of course, this one is a bit more Christmas themed, as you can tell from the aesthetic of this video. This also features a very special handle. These are foxagons, and if you can't see that well, I'll throw a picture of them up. It is an offering from Silver Fox Industries that is just a different kind of handle scale. They have their logo as well on the top right back here, along with Edrian's little leaf. And then it says Gecko at the very top. This blaster is, of course, magazine fed. This is the angled talon variant. This proprietary magazine only takes 10, but the angled talons do come in higher and lower capacities. Fits in through the grip. And then it is a spring-powered blaster. So unfortunately, you're not gonna get semi-auto or automatic fire like you would in a video game. And it does prime from this front rather than a rear. I don't know if I love it or hate it. I will say it does work nicely for this blaster because you can slam fire. So instead of going from the back and doing this, you go from the front and you can slam fire it in a different way. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I don't know if that's amazing. It's just different. It works just fine though. So you prime from the front, reaches open, loads a dart through, close it, and now you're ready to fire a dart. Pop. Of course, you can also just front load after you've primed, and a similar result will ensue. I should mention that there are some different trigger variants out there. I believe this is the stock configuration, but there are other options if you're so inclined to choose from those. Now, the magazine is also just friction fit in the magwell, so it's really easy to take one out and then put one back in. There is an option for other mag release styles, so like Silver Fox Industries did send me recently this mag release, which would give it a little bit more of a tactile feeling. I've also seen some exterior mag release options. I didn't install that yet because I was afraid I would break the blaster before showing it off in a video. It's not the highest performer out there, and this is one reason that some people might not recommend the Gecko over other blasters because there has been an explosion in this platform recently with the magazine fed through the grip sidearm size package. This is probably the lower performer of all of those, but I chose this blaster because I thought it looked pretty cool. Despite its shortcomings, I found the accuracy to be acceptable with the right darts, of course, and I really enjoyed using it in an arena-style game where even though I didn't have the highest capacity with just two 10-round magazines, it was really satisfying to use, and I would definitely do it again. Hey, take a look. Three, two, one, go! Moving. Leg, leg. Take the flag, go! Move, move. That's one. Is that game?
One, two, three, four, 13, 14, 15. Are you playing? Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Two, three, fourteen, fifteen. High. Oh, he's got range on me. I'll just stay here. No worries. You got me, you got me on that one. So the gecko. Listen up, because 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's got a very tactile and responsive trigger pull, the chunky feel, easy to reload magazines, and an aggressive silhouette. Oh, let's talk about that really quickly. I usually don't show off too many blasters like this on my channel. It is very realistic, and that doesn't have to be a bad thing. I use this on a private field, and my colors are obviously very Christmas and bold, but it's still got that silhouette where if you get this in some very darker colors, it might be mistaken as a real firearm. I would highly recommend buying into the video game aesthetic that is make it bold, make it bright, make it loud because that's why we play with toys. This is a kind of blaster that I wouldn't recommend everyone go out and get because it is a bit pricier, but I would recommend it to an older audience that knows what it is and will play responsibly with it because it should be handled and used in a responsible fashion. And I don't think younger kids are going to totally understand that. That said, it only also comes with half darts, so you got to be aware of the half dart ecosystem. It's similar to this magpie that I showed off some time ago. It's a very cool looking blaster and people are like, oh wow, where do I get that? And you're like, um, well, it's over 180 bucks. This was a custom made blaster by someone who knows what they're doing. Some very special prints. It comes together uniquely, not the highest performer out there. So more of a novelty piece. I'd say the Gecko is a bit more useful than this super long barrel magpie. Your opinions will vary, of course. I'd be lying if I said I didn't find this very fun, but I'm probably not gonna be bringing this to my next public game whenever that happens to be. I look forward to more iterations of this in the future or more of what Edrian's gonna be doing. Thank you again, Silver Fox Industries, for helping me to create a very unique gecko color scheme. They did not tell me they were going to be throwing some red on here. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section, what do you find the most appealing blaster of this nature these days? Cause there are just so many options from like Dart Zones offerings to community blasters. I'll see you in the next one with a lot less Christmas flair. It's too hot for this, way too hot.